The media player used in Quantify is automatically displayed whenever you play a call. Here I'm going to use Search and Replay to run through the media player features, but this same media player is also displayed in other Quantify applications like Live Acquire or Quality Management. So in Search and Replay, just double click a call to start playback. Like any standard media player, use the play, pause, forward and back buttons to control playback. I'm going to pause playback for now so that we can run through the more advanced features. The advanced features in the media player give you finer control of call playback. These can be very useful for lots of different situations, like repeating a part of a call just to make sure you heard it correctly, slowing the speed down a little because everyone is speaking quickly, muting one side of the call because they're shouting, or boosting the audio so you can hear what's happening in the background. So let's run through these features. In the media player, both sides of the call are shown using a simple waveform. You can use this to quickly see who's talking and when or to see when there's silence during a call. You can jump to anywhere in the call just by clicking the waveform. Click and drag to highlight a section of the call and use the loop button to loop playback just within the selection. You can also grab the ends of the selection to adjust it as needed. Each side of the call has its own volume slider and mute button. So if you want to just listen to one person, you can mute the other person or reduce their volume. There are also two tabs that you can use to set preferences, audio effects and replay speed. In the audio effects tab, the auto volume setting automatically brings both sides of the call up to an average level. Out of all the audio settings, I probably use this one the most. The silent suppression setting automatically skips any silence during the call. Our call, for example, has automatically suppressed audio while payment is taken, known as PCI suppression. So this setting will skip that silence and save you listening to a minute of nothing. Audio boost automatically boosts the volume to a high level, useful when the call is very quiet or you want to hear what's going on in the background. Boosting the volume isn't appropriate for normal speech though, that's because the audio is boosted so high that normal speech gets clipped and the sound is distorted. The stereo mono selection switches the audio output between stereo and mono playback. Stereo will play one side of the call on the left speaker and the other side on the right. Mono combines both sides of the call on both speakers. Obviously if you have a mono headset, select mono playback or you won't hear one side of the call. Finally, the Replay Speed tab is used to adjust the playback speed. As I mentioned earlier, this can be useful to slow down a fast pace call, or alternatively speed up a call so you can skip through it a little quicker. You can set between 20% and 300% playback speed, but usually a set in between 70% and 130% is the most useful. Anything smaller or greater than this tends to distort the audio to a point that it's unusable. One last thing to mention about the waveform volume sliders, mute buttons, audio effects and replay speed settings is that anything you set for these is remembered, even when you log out. So if you replay a call and the audio doesn't sound normal, or you can only hear one side of the call, check your settings. Well that's a quick overview of the more advanced features in the Quantify Media Player. Check out the Redbox Quick Question Topics and e-learning videos for more information on Search and Replay and the rest of the Quantify product suite.